Whoa, it's Woolsey. Welcome to something a little bit more extensive than usual. As you all know, I like to take on building challenges, whether it be with limits or just desperately trying to work with other people in level swap. But with every video, I've been left with a tiny or short level that doesn't have much substance to it. That's why today I'm starting a brand new project. I cleared my stars, just like every famous rapper would clear their Instagram before they drop the album. I'm ready, I'm pumped to start the random color building series. That's right, every Wednesday, starting this Wednesday, I'll be uploading a decoration episode for this level, currently unnamed, we're going to generate that in just a second. Throughout the whole series, I'm going to be using an extension called the Hex Color Picker. This specific version I'm using was made by Matthias44, I'll link their Twitter and their mod in the description. As you can see down here, there is a box that I can type into, get some nice little hex right there. And I'm going to be using a random hex code website for every colour that's going to be chosen. There is an example. I'm using the song Lure by Laps, which I previously used for my glow only challenge. It's a different part of the song, don't worry. I think it's neat and chilled, which is probably what we're gonna need because this might get a little bit intense, but difficult to work with at times. So the rules I've got in mind, I have to generate colors through one to five, then I'm allowed white, black, black blending, and then two other colors of my choice to fill up these 10. And I guess we start this off by randomly generating the background and the object line. <laughs> Whatever I get, with this generation is going to be the level name and the background color for this video. Not bad. Okay, that's our level name. 511B. <laughs> I, I guess that's the object color. Okay. You know what? That's not that bad. Okay. <laughs> at least I'm not going to have to stare at something ugly when I'm making the layout. Yeah. So as always, the first episode of the building series is just going to be me getting a feel for the video, the challenge. We've got a green orb through these blocks and then you put back normal gravity with that blue orb jump. Going to make a fake yellow pad right here. Something I do pretty often in my layouts, but I'm going to make it pretty obvious that you're supposed to jump it. Then there's a new instrument that starts playing in the song right about here. You'll see when I play test right now i'm probably going to put a blue pad and a ship portal that you got to hold through right there and then straight fly back into a cube i should probably mention that i'm going for around an eight star difficulty with this <laughs> i just hit my own fake we've got another fake going here this one's a bit more creative than the other one since you can fit right in between those two blocks i'm using invisible spikes as well the first fake is a little bit more uncertain if I keep these X's, they're going to be alphaed on and off so that they appear as you get closer. So you have to make the judgment a little bit later. You can't just look miles ahead and see it. But we'll play a normal mode just to test the second fake. I want to test it on a bunch of different refresh rates because I have a feeling going through a block like that isn't going to be safe on every device. Don't mind me. I'm just going through the whole level and making the spikes a bit more interesting looking. I'm just being a neat freak, but whatever. I think this plays pretty well so far. We've got a decent intro with two fakes pretty clearly indicated with spikes around them now and also the x that might get used in the full version not sure yet it's nice to have a little idea like that though i have an interesting question can you crush your head off the floor of the level if you have a h block and a yellow pad for science no <laughs> i'm just thinking as i'm building this hold on i've never had an insane eight what if i do that is that too evil? Hitting the green orb and then immediately having to click again? I'll play test from the beginning while I explain this. Basically, after the ball part, there's going to be a large transition upwards. I, you know, that might be a little bit unforgiving. Hold on. Okay, this is a bit more clear now. So basically, at the end of this ball part, I've been trying to explain this so much. Stop! How am I going to explain this if I can't even get to it? Okay, here we go. Teleporter. Then a long transition like that, which you jump out of. I think that's a cool way to buffer the drop right there. I could have some sort of title screen. Although, I don't know what colors I'm going to be allowed to use here. So, just wanted to take a quick break and play Zalogy by Equinox. Because I know there's a kind of similar transition without a teleporter. This level's a banger. Look at this. I just think this is so smoothly executed. Boom, you get the platform that kind of buffers the drop right there. I think it's awesome. There's something I want to try involving object glow, which you can see in the edit object tab in the bottom left. Let me remove that from these objects and then add a secondary layer with just clear objects. So I'll toggle these before you get here. And then right as you hit the speed changer, we could toggle these lines on and off just for high detail users. I mean, this isn't gonna affect anyone that uses low detail mode in the game settings. Let me see how this actually looks. It's pointless. Is it pointless even if I speed it up? 
<laughs> this is the worst idea I've ever had. Cut all of this, Wolsey. Dude, I tampered with my mega hack and everything just to try that out. What did I even have? No glow. Anyway, I'm probably gonna shorten this platform because it feels a bit too unnecessarily long. And I can start a jump onto a block like this. And you know what? I feel like generating more colors. I want a new background color. Ooh, okay. Please. Orange and blue. Okay. I know there's definitely going to be a way to cheese this by not hitting the yellow orb and just holding. But to make it a bit more fair and consistent, it's probably best if you hit the yellow orb. So you get boosted down into that block to hold, drop, and then fly out of there. Okay. I'm going to make it a little bit more climactic by putting a speed changer here. I might actually make it so you have to fly through and drop into this cube portal and go under this structure. Then repeat this platform thing very briefly with a speed changer back to two times. Jumping into a robot portal. I always find cube to robot very satisfying to make gameplay play with because you never have to worry about the boundaries changing. Plus, I always like the feel of switching from robot to cube or cube to robot. You'll notice I do that a lot on my levels where I have a couple of jumps where you have to hold, then a couple that you have to click. I think it just makes a nice balanced section of the level. And I feel like going on a tangent again, just like when I replaced all the spikes and just <laughs> box metering some of the structures. There's just something about structuring that's always so satisfying to me. I mean, even when we've got a putrid set of colors. <laughs> I never like jumping onto a pad because you never know which side of it you're going to hit. If you slide into it, you're always going to hit the left side. So it's important for consistency that you try your best to make sure you hit that. You might remember in this ship part that there is a sound effect right here that's synced with a slope like that that crushes you into a block. I want to do the same thing in this UFO, but I just need to figure out the best way to do it because it's a bit of an awkward timing when you jump. That's the timing that I need to sync, and it's going to be a little bit awkward if I have a slope all the way down here. Have a block up there. I don't know. It seems like a lot of waiting. Maybe that could work. I'll just put a massive arrow right here that points at the slope, saying, you need to do this, otherwise you're going to crash into the block up here. So this slope isn't synced to the music, but it does kind of shift you downwards a block like that. I think it's cool. Then there's going to be three clicks in quick succession. I realize when I make UFOs, I don't often make jumps more than once. You know, I want to mix it up here. That feels like it's going to go off screen, doesn't it? You know what? I feel like using teleporters. We did it earlier. I'm going to do it again. But this one's going to be on screen this time. How on earth am I going to block this off though? Maybe that needs to be one lower. Because then I can probably put a saw here. I think I'm going to do more of this transition where you drop into the cube. I thought it was cool last time. I mean, why not? It flows perfectly there. And I can even put spikes here. Because you can hit this side of the portal. It's like a massive window. And I think that's the last time I should use the straight platforms with the speed changer. Because I've used it here. I've used it here. I've used it here. <laughs> like, it's too much. It's cool to have repeated tropes, but it gets a bit boring when you do the same thing over and over again. Anyway, new background, ladies and gentlemen. What are we saying? Ooh, a hot pink. Okay. And for objects? <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. I know it's kind of lame that it picked pink on pink, but... You know what? We'll take it. We are heading into a wave. Probably gonna do my usual where I split up all of the structures instead of making it one big corridor and put saws here and there. I wish I could make this cube transition work, but there's just no way that I'm gonna be able to force the player into that cube portal, which is quite annoying. There's one way I can think of making it work, which is making a corridor like that with some extra slopes that toggle off. So say when you hit this region right here, that these would toggle off and you would fall. I don't know though. Let me see. Does this actually work? It does, but how buggy is it? Okay, so it looks like the instant that you hit the cube portal, I'm pretty sure that was the same frame because they've got the same hitbox. I'm just looking at the hitboxes on Mega Hack V6, and you can see this green outline is the portal, and then the small blue ones are the toggle triggers. It looks like the portal's hitbox is bigger, but then you... Okay. Smooth, okay. Inspired by Dominus. Thank you, Dominus. If you've watched the level swap, you'll know. Then we fall into the cube, 
do a couple of jumps in a row and then i have no idea what's gonna happen right now maybe another robot briefly i have no idea double clicks and eight stars hell yeah now we can maybe reach up here for the cube portal fast fall into a ship that has the same gimmick as earlier with the sound effect and then there is another speed changer I'm just setting things up so i can switch to ufo in the middle of the ship section very briefly now if i check the borders you'll see it's one block below if i move this up one add a new group three and then use a move trigger that just sets that down a block the border will remain the same and the portal will stay there so i'm briefly going to be able to swap to this ufo and continue with the ship right after after that ship i think the level's pretty much done i mean it's 52 seconds long but the song starts to fade out right here, so I think it's appropriate to end there. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this. I was hoping there was going to be more than three color opportunities. That means there might only be three Wednesdays in the series, but that still makes a four-part series if you include this layout video as part of it. But yeah, I think this is pretty solid. One of my best layouts in my opinion, especially since it's to a chill song. I think the difficulty is pretty consistent, and I like what I did with the horizontal portals. And I'm also quite excited to decorate that box meta structuring that I've done all the way through. I mean, this part isn't really structured, but the part after it definitely is. I love this wave part as well. The fact that you toggle the slopes right there. I think that's a cool idea. Did something different with slopes. Not really used to that. The double click on the robot's really satisfying. And then it comes to a nice little close. Oh, come on! Maybe when we're coming to decorate and we can change the color of this final part just for a brief climactic ending. But yeah, I think it's a nice close right there. Awesome. We're probably going to extend that a couple of blocks out so the yellow pad has more effect. Let me show you. The level's ending like right here before we actually see the curve of the yellow pad, which is not very satisfying. Whereas if I do this with the spike, it's a bit more climactic. Oh! Oh my god. My game sound's been off since I did the slow-mo. Are you kidding me? Well, that's gonna be fun to edit. Woo! Gotta edit in the song for the second half of the video. Let's go. That concludes part one of the Random Color Channel series that's gonna last about three to four episodes on Wednesdays. I'll premiere the final one so you won't miss the ending. Hopefully you'll stay tuned. I think it's an interesting concept. Thank you so much for watching this building video. Check the links in the description, leave a like and subscribe, and have a good day.